Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's so good of you to join me. Since I had the time, and um, yeah, kind of just having a good time in Second Life, I decided to show you this amazing house from Diamond Homes. This is the Lakeside Harbor, and I just purchased it less than 24 hours ago. This is the home that I've been looking for for probably two years. And my girl tans too. We both love a kind of rustic yet not old, yet not industrial aesthetic. So it starts with this really amazing ramp that leads up to your front door and your garage here. And just a gorgeous place. I love, love that the textures are really realistic. I love the wrought iron elements here, mixing with the wood and the tiles. The bits of green. Okay, let's talk about these reflections on the windows. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, so I am in the Key West by the same creator. That is what I literally just finished setting up this week. I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to take it down and I'll be living in this house. The reflections on the outer windows, just insane. And then you walk in and it has this amazingly unique, I think, layout where it is two floors, but your main living area is downstairs while your kitchen is upstairs and I absolutely adore the kitchen I love it I love it I can't believe all of the cabinets and drawers work this is incredible let me say that I have never purchased a home where I felt like, okay, I have to find a way to keep this kitchen here because I love this kitchen. It's not only that it matches the home, but it's just a really nice kitchen for this type of place. Just really beautiful with animations. Love it. Love, love, love it. I love this. Absolutely incredible. All right, let me stand up from this. I cannot believe that I'm going to be leaving the kitchen intact. Now, of course, because I be you, I'll be taking out the fridge and, um, yeah, but... The fact that all of this is gonna stay is incredible. I have a little bit of regret for buying that kitchen, but only a little, only a little. <laughs> I didn't know that this house was coming out with this amazing kitchen when I bought that, uh, that kitchen. All right, so this is our pantry which is super cute, super cute. Because I actually have a couple of things that could go in the pantry, but you have so much cabinet space, so much kitchen cabinet space, and this cute little breakfast nook. Mm. 
really amazing. They do have animations. All of her nuts have animations. The lighting works even better than before. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. But I love that these blinds are kind of um, inclusive. Not even kind of, but they are inclusive. Because that's one less thing you have to count with your land impact window coverings unless you just want to cover the blinds with curtains still and I believe this is one of the bedrooms but how beautiful is this beautiful my sister said I love the doors and I was like yes I love the ceilings, I love the floors. I love all of it, it's just glorious. And this is the master bedroom. Very nice space, plenty of room. Love the blinds being installed here. Bam. And we are at La Tigra, so that's why you see that out there wanted to make sure that I would be able to spread this out properly. Of course, all of the windows open because Diamond Homes have opening windows. Love this place. And in most of Diamond Homes, there is some kind of little hidey space, some kind of secret room or something like that. But in this case, it's not a secret. It is a an attic, which is just the sweetest, most appropriate thing for something like this. I am in love with this place. Absolutely in love with it. And then, watch this. I am walking down the steps. And I've walked down the steps on my own, not falling. All you have to do is take that first step and your avatar goes smoothly down all the way. Crazy. Um, oh, I wanted to show you the back patio off of the master which I think is really amazing and these lights do work that amazing fireplace this can make a really beautiful intimate setting here and then of course you can go back in there um let's do that Yes, there are a couple of pieces of art here and there. Actually, that door there, we might as well do that too. This door here leads to your garage from the inside. I would say there's room for about two cars. Uh, you can fit three if you really want to squeeze it. But as a person who literally has about six or seven vehicles and eight motorcycles out. I'm very well aware that I'm going to have to make some choices and uh, do some switcheroo as to what I need and when. Oh, I have been playing with this railing. The railing, when you get it, anything that is this light tan color. Uh, the railing when you get this home is white. I found it a little bit bright. So I started playing with the colors a little bit and that's actually what led me to doing the video for you because I was like, you know what? I am standing here playing with this house knowing, knowing full well that I am not, that I'm gonna de -res it. And I'm going to have to do this again, so I might as well do this for a reason. But I'm showing you this because 
as usual this diamond home is very customizable you edit your part and edit linked and select face and click the item that you want to change the texture or color of and as you can see I kind of have this preloaded beigey, rosy, peachy color that I've saved in my colors. Uh, I don't want to change the texture, I just wanted to change the color. And you can change your colors here. You can even make it something totally other if you want. Let's turn off the highlights so you can see a little bit better. And the significant other is watching a movie. So if you hear that in the background, do excuse. But yeah, you can just turn it, you can edit every part of these homes to be what you want them to be. But personally, that is literally the only thing that I saw that I have no idea who's calling me. I got a call and now I'm back. Uh, so this is how you do it. Basically, you just choose a color that you would like it to be and yeah, pretty much. All the pieces are modifiable. And like I was saying, um, since I was going through this house and kind of picking with it and seeing what I wanted to do in a kind of preliminary fashion, I decided to come on through with you guys. But let's go on downstairs. And I adore, adore this setup. Oh. I think this is absolutely amazing. If you click the switch, the lights will come on. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Love the shelving here too. I think it's really nice. We've got those reflections on the uh, windows there again, which I think are just divine. Let's go this way. A very, a very, very large guest bedroom. I don't know if those lights up there have a switch, but they don't seem like they're really bright enough to do any real damage to my ambiance, especially since this house is just the way it is. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Bathroom. Now that's our res box there. So, no worries. Another nice size room. And this is our theater. Oh, how amazing is it? And these lights work individually which make me so happy. And as usual, she's got the color changer for the ambient lights in the room. Now I usually go with the dark blue because it's very easy on the eyes. But isn't this just fantastic? It's a really great media room, theater room. I love love this place. I love this place. But yeah, it's got a lot of different colors you can choose from, as you can see. Which is amazing. And usually she does include a 
television, a, well, as you can see here, a theater screen with the theater mm, light green. So let's go with the mint green. Oh, that's actually very nice as opposed to white. All right, next room. I love that that room has double doors also. It's just so perfect. It's so perfect. And I believe this should be a, another room. Yes, and these rooms connect. Just glorious. I love this texture being on the back wall. I love that this feels kind of like um, carpet here. And the bathroom. And this should connect us right back to that other room. So if you had two kids, this would be the shared bath. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, just glorious. Not a whole lot of unnecessary rooms. Not a whole bunch of unnecessary space. Love the back porch. Like that it's really open because the way I have my home set up now, um, I'm going to be able to pick up the Key West and kind of plop, the, plop, no, place this down in pretty much the same configuration without disrupting um, my landscaping in any way. I'm going to have to reset everything inside the house, but I don't have to think about how this moves and is this going to turn in the way that I need for it to do so. So yeah, we already saw that. That's right off of the master bedroom. Oh, I can't get over the reflections. I can't get over that. And the warmth of the house and the colors and even how it's just, it's not white when you come in and just look at the outside. And just so warm and, and cozy and amazing. It's just amazing. And I'm so glad that I was able to go ahead and pick this one up. Even your landscaping is pretty much done for you. You don't have to landscape this house at all. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. It's big enough with plenty of space because I was in another one of her homes, which I adore, but it was just a titch too small because we all know that I'm an over-decorator. You all know this. But yeah, so this is, this is a dream come true. This is the rustic, modern, not old looking um, ranch quote with a basement that I've always wanted and I couldn't be happier. All right, my loves, you all have an excellent day. Trust me, I'm going to get rid of this daggone pose because it's cute, but um, so you guys have an excellent day. Thank you for joining me once again. If you get this house, let me know if you love it because you can believe that I'm going to be going into this one and staying there because it even fits my landscaping better than the house I have now. 
Um, next thing will probably be a tour of the Key West because again, I'm going to be using this home. This feels like home. <sighs> Love y'all. Mwah.